Hi, Mr. Richards here. Today's lesson is on indirect measurement. You'll learn how to solve problems involving indirect measurement using a technique called shadow reckoning. And you'll also solve problems using surveying methods. First, let's define these terms. Indirect measurement allows you to use the properties of similar triangles to find measurements that are difficult to measure directly. And one of these methods is called shadow reckoning. Basically with shadow reckoning, two objects and their shadows form two sides of similar triangles. Let's get into our examples. Our first example shows us how to use shadow reckoning. Suppose the monument in La Porte, Texas cast a shadow of 285 feet. At the same time, a nearby tourist who is 5 feet tall cast a 2.5 foot shadow. How tall is the monument? Well, let's picture similar triangles here. I mean, if I drew a triangle from the top of the monument down, or at least a line from the top of the monument down. And then we're saying this cast a shadow of 285 feet. Now, we can kind of form a triangle here. And we don't know the height, so we can call the height x. Well, we can draw a triangle through this lovely tourist with his shadow and complete the triangle. And we're saying this tourist is five feet tall with a two and a half foot shadow. So now we can set up a proportion to solve this question. Basically, if we have our tourist height over the statue height, and we can then set that equal to the tourist shadow over the statue or monument shadow. The left side of our proportion are the two heights. So the tourist height was five feet. Whereas the tourist shadow was two and a half feet. The statue's height we don't know is X. And the statue's shadow is 285 feet. So let's look at this setup here. The left proportion has our actual heights of 5 for the torus and x for the statue. The right side of the proportion has the tourist shadow over the statue's shadow. The tops were the tourists and the bottoms were the statue. So everything seems to line up here. Well now we can cross multiply to solve. 
we'll have 5 times 285 equals 2 and a half times x and 5 times 285 is 1425 is going to equal 2 and a half x in order to solve the proportion divide by 2 and a half on both sides and x equals 570 feet. And so this is a method called shadow reckoning. Now we can use surveying methods because surveyors also use similar triangles but their method does not involve shadows. Now we'll notice in this example that it's possible to measure three sides of the triangle directly. In the figure, triangle PQT is similar, the little line here means similar, to triangle PRS. Find the distance across the lake, which here is side RS. You can tell it's labeled as the X. Now, that missing side is RS. Now, the other side in that shape that we know is RP. So we can write that on the other side of our proportion that we're going to set up here. Now ask yourself, which side matches RS on the other triangle? Two ways of doing that. If we look in our statement, RS are the last two letters. So QT is going to match that. The other way is trying to just tell by looking. But again, if you, you're given a statement, RS here matches the QT there. What about the RP? Well, that's going to match the QP, which is right there. RP matches QP. So now as we go in to solve, RS was our X over QT was 12 equals RP of 60 over QP of 25. And now we can cross multiply to solve. 25 times X is going to equal 12 times 60 and 25 X equals 720 and then to finish divide by 25 on both sides and X is going to equal 28 and 8 tenths meters That's it. Good luck.